Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and have a really great day. In today's video, I want to do a quick update to my how to uh, unrelay or how to fix the relay status and remote control your hotspot. Um, so in this video, we want to do this. It will be quicker and it will be easier. You only need two programs and you need a Linode account. The two programs are FileZilla and the OpenVPN Connect application for your computer. You can find all the necessary links and commands I will use in the video description. So while you have logged into your Linode account, you will click on create and then on Linode. After this, we will select DBN 11 and you will select your nearest region. For me, it's in Germany. I will select in a node one gigabyte. I will give this puppy a name and I will create a password. After this, you're good to go. Just click on create Linode. This will take a couple of seconds. The Linode will be created and it will boot in a couple of seconds. So see you then. Okay, the Linode is running and is up. What we do now is we click on launch leash console. This will open another window and here we will need to log into our Linode. The username is root, R-O-O-T, and the password is the password you said before. Just type it in. The next thing you want to do is you want to copy these, uh, this from our video description and download this file. This will download uh, my GitHub repository where I wrote a script that will install everything you need automatically. What you need to do now is type in chmod space plus x space install.sh. This will allow the installation script to be executable, otherwise it won't work. The next thing we're going to do is we type in point slash install.sh. Press enter and now the Linode will do everything you need to be done in just like seconds. So I will be back when we need to do the next step. So here we are. The first thing that pops up is the, is the IPv4 rules. Just press enter. IPv6 rules, press enter. And you're done. That's it. What you need to do now is pretty easy. You go to FileZilla, open this program. After this, we need to copy uh, the IP address of our server. So just copy it by pressing on the clipboard or just copy it, whatever you prefer. And then type it into FileZilla. Username is always root, your password that you have set there and the port. Port is 22, uh, then click OK. And here you will find two files, uh, the helium minus PC and helium minus mango.ovpn. You need those files, just copy them wherever you like them to have. Uh, I will just drag them over there. And you're done with downloading some files. The next thing you need to do is click on reboot in your Linode. Just let it reboot and yeah, while, while this thing is rebooting, we will open the program OpenVPN Connect. Here you will click on the plus file, then on, on, on the plus, then you click on file, then you browse for it. I saved it somewhere here. And now's the thing, um, for your PC or whenever you want to try to connect from your PC to the hotspot, you will need this file. So we click on helium minus pc.ovpn, open it, we will give it a profile name just to keep it organized, you know, something like rec, uh, piscus, whatever, give it a name, give it some, some numbers that you know what you're connecting to. Uh, the Linode is running in the background, so I will give it a couple more seconds and now I can click on connect. Let's see, it will be connect. Nice. 
So um, for educational purposes, I will disconnect of this server, but it will be the same. I do not have enough mangoes laying around, so I will need to connect to another one. But this will be the same. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I, um, but I will explain it now really quickly. You need to go into your um, into your mango. Just set it up, plug it, plug it in, and um, when you have done so, just log into it. Um, basically, when you never change anything about your mango, it will be uh, one nine two point one six eight point eight point one. This will be the standard uh, IP address of your Mango um, if you are logged in via Wi-Fi or via the LAN port. Both is possible. When you have done so, I, I will quickly go to the, another location. Uh, when you have done so, you will find a uh, window possibly likely like this. Um, if you never have set it up, it will tell you, hey, set me up, give me a password. Um, but I have already done so. Then we will log in. The important step you have to do first here is you click on upgrade and if you have never done anything uh, it will probably tell you something like this um, that there's something to upgrade etc pdp um, but I will provide you an update file in my video description just download it click on uh, local upgrade and drag it in here or browse for it just just click on it and browse for it whatever just do this and upload the update file and then hit the installation button. Let it do its thing, let it reboot, reconnect to it. And after this, we can go to the VPN section, click on open VPN client. And here you will find something like this, um, that it will tell you add a new open VPN configuration. Just click on it, click again on it. And for me, uh, I need to go to this, direction and here we only select the helium minus mango dot ovpn file select it open it it's uploading give it a name i name it helium test submit it and when you've done so you can click on apply then go back to status make sure that this button is there that you have access to local network if this is not there you need to do an upgrade of your mango device um, and it need to be it needs to be done if not uh, just check it this this button needs to be checked and then you can click on connect what will happen then your mango device will change its ip configuration and whenever you want to connect to it you just go into your open vpn connect you look for the VPN you want to connect, connect to it, and in the browser type in 10.8.0.2. Press enter and you will find the overview of your hotspot. What I will not mention in this video is how you can set up your firewall on this device so that you can port forward it. Uh, for this I got another video and I will link it to the right now. See you guys in the next one and thanks for watching.